Welcome to a brand new episode of Back Pass X Balestia Kalsa. And today we're not in PSB Academy because of some technical issues that are being resolved right now as we speak. So we are back on Zoom. And with me, as usual, I've got my man, Kelvin Singh. How are you doing, Kelvin? I'm good. I'm good. Uh, just, uh, just a quick uh, message to all the listeners out there who, who listened to my podcast last Friday and heard all the echoes. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> apologies there I, I have no I had no idea that uh, uh, there was echo but uh, nevertheless back that's to, part of the technical issues we are facing uh, just technical yeah. issues um, yeah. no fingers pointed at anyone <laughs> but um, uh, just uh, very happy to be here uh, in our favorite place Zoom uh, and I uh, yeah, look forward to the, to the episode today yeah and introducing as well making his debut on the show Mr. Joel Robert, how are you doing, bro? Hey, I'm doing good, man, Russ. Thanks for this. Uh, feels good to be back now on live screen. And uh, what better way to do it with uh, Backpass X Ballester. So, yeah, looking forward to the show. Let's have a, a good and uh, let's rock the show. Man. All right. And appearing for the second time on the show, one of the captains of the team, Mr. Ho Wai Loon, this time appearing alone instead of uh, as part of a trio the last time. So, how are you doing, Wai Loon? Ni hao ma? Yeah, good. Ni hao, ni hao. Of course, uh, I'm okay. to do it. I got, I got, a, I got to slot in a bit of this mother tongue thing to make yes, it fair, well. so that you know, <laughs> so that uh, you know, people don't think that you know, I only know Malay or Punjabi, and you know, I don't speak any other language. So I got to be fair for everyone. So yeah, appreciate That's the that. Max you know, bro. Huh? That's, That's the, the max I know. I know. <laughs> other, other than that, it's all. Uh, you know, R21 stuff, we can't... Uh, you know. <laughs> can, can sense it or sense it. Yeah, I can sense it. There'll be lots of bleeps. On Spotify, we can do that. <laughs> All right, guys, let's yeah. get the show on the road. A new format this time. Instead of question and answer, we're going to have a roundtable discussion. And we'll start off with Joel. Joel, Let's go, guys. Way. All right, Loon. It's Yo. glad to see you, brother. All right, man. Let Look, you, I'm going to start with the comeback, man. All right, for the I think the first three games, let's not talk about Elbrex. All right, let's talk about the first game, Tampadis and Tanjung Paga. All right, the team really had a solid resilience, you know, to strive for comebacks. You know, it's something that we rarely see much in local football these days. But I think you guys really did good. I think as a fan, as a neutral, I think anyone would have loved that kind of, uh, of a comeback display. But I just want to know your thoughts, you know. Talk us through as a leader on the pitch. How do you get the team going? I mean, going down 2-0 and then going down like 2-1 or 3-1 and then getting the team, getting the players riled up and, and you know, it's not easy. But as a leader being on the pitch, how do you get the team going, man? Talk us through the moment. Yeah, I mean, yes, you know, because uh, football is a 90 minutes game. Mm -hmm. Like, anything can go, you know. Uh, even though at the last minute you can score, even the first minute you can score. So, as a leader, as as a leader of a team, like three of us, or like even the senior players, we always keep ourselves going as if anything went wrong in the uh, at the start of the game. I mean, there's 90 minutes. Why not? We just keep on going and not uh, put ourselves down. I mean, one zero, two zero at the 10 minutes, but we still got another 80 more minutes. You know? that's. I think we need that mentality out of the team to keep us going so that at least we motivate each other and keep telling us that we are not over and this is not over yet until the final whistle. So I think... Uh, that 45 minutes break, uh, I mean like 15 minutes break at a half time, I think it's very important to like uh, tell the players that it's not over, that we still have a lot of time to fight. So I think that's where the spirit and the mentality that have to come to play a part to get it, the comeback going. No? So I, I felt that, uh, I feel that in the team that we can always come back. I mean, but it's not a good thing to always do a comeback, you know. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. yeah so it's not always a good thing. But I've, uh, I mean, you can see from there that we have the fighting spirit to come back from Tampanese game and... I mean, Tanjong Paga game is also one of them, but you can see yeah. how much we want to get going and how much we want to have that comeback and uh, not in a losing side. Yeah. yeah so, man. would you say this is uh, down to your team unity that uh, you are able to mount these comebacks? Yeah, I was. I would say it's more. That I would say is the down, uh, the unity of the team, like uh, because there's a lot of young senior team. I mean, yeah, and uh, you can say that maybe like 13, 14, 15 players are senior players. Yeah. So. To have that experience and mental is very important. I, I hope that all the young ones can really look up to uh, these three games. I mean, yeah, I mean, Tampanese is one of the comeback. I mean, Abrex, we don't see. But then, like I say again, because Abrex is a game where even though we are down that much, but we still continue to try to play. Yeah. 
we we don't have that oh, uh sh- uh like we are losing and oh we shouldn't have played what we we not been playing so uh so I think I want I want the young ones to see uh, this opportunity as an opportunity to know how much it means to have that mental to fight back and come back not give up until the final whistle. Mm, okay, Kelvin. Uh, I think you got something to say about the attacking side of the team, right? It's right. It's it's quite good, right? The Balestier going forward. Yeah, I think uh, you know uh, the comebacks. I think we 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 start with the comebacks as well. You know, uh, makes the game really exciting as a as a fan, but yeah. also makes you go into this roller coaster of emotions, yeah. um, which you know it's not really healthy in the long run. I think <laughs> not know? healthy for people with heart disease. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's very no, but it is very chilling. I was at the stadium. Um, Um, the last game uh, at, um, with Tanjung Paga, and um, we were actually Ras and I were sitting next to the uh, we we were sitting next to the opposition uh, fans yeah, Tanjung yeah. Paga, and then they were making a lot of noise when the guys were two zero up, and then quick succession I think Ansar picked the ball up. Yeah, that was the first goal. Really, really aggressive play. But I'm um, really kudos to 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 the comeback, but. You know this, like what you said, not sustainable in the long run. Um, you know, and the attacking play is really, really good. But I feel that there's something, there's something missing, man. There's something. Yeah, I, I, yeah, I think there's something missing. That's where I think Lun, you can actually feel that 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 something missing, filling the blanks. Though, you no, know, Ras talked about unity. Uh, Kel talked about uh, you know resilience, the, the the fighting spirit. I mean, what are the positive aspects do you think you can take out of this team, or you know, and also the the areas where we can improve on, so that you know. We don't go on on this comeback run. Yeah. I mean, it's it's good to know. You know, I it's I think it's a wonderful name to have. No comeback kings. I think you know, there's a certain team in English football that had that comeback kings last season. <laughs> and it didn't really do anything well. <laughs> I mean, it, it'll be nice to have that name, but no, in the long run, it's not that healthy. So talk us through the the positive aspect yeah. of the team, bro. We'll yeah, talk about the positive first. Later, we'll talk about the negatives. Yep. So <laughs> right, this is the positive segment. <laughs> We yeah, keep see, it positive. As, like, as I see it, like, as in, it's positive that we can score, not that we cannot score. You know, we have yeah. the capability to score, and we have the capability capability to play. So I think it's something really very positive for a new team like us. You know, everybody was trying to, do, but I mean, things haven't gone our way. But then, I mean, it's part and parcel of football. You know, you can't have uh, success success overnight. But uh, mm-hmm. given that three games, I mean, we scored like five goals. But I mean, it's not good to concede goals. Like yours, you know, it's not a healthy thing to. Keep having comebacks, but like what I say, the positive side is entertaining the fan. But it's not; it's quite tiring to be on the pitch, to have to keep every game going this and this. And I think that's really something like you say something is missing at the back. But going forward, is what is not really a main a main concern for us. I mean, we know like how our foreigners, work, our three Japanese, work, how the team yeah. works. So I think there's a lot of trust when it comes to attacking. But mm-hmm. I'm not saying that like, no trust in the defense. But I think. Like what the positivity is, I uh, we are a team that is capable of going forward. Mm. So so that's a positive side. But come to the negative side, I mean they de- they re- they rely on us as well. I mean we can attack, but yeah, when it comes to defense, we have to work ourselves as well. We have to work on defense, and yeah. I think that's what we are lacking of. As I think everybody can see it from there on, mm. from there. Yeah. yeah. So on the defense I, yeah. side, I gotta cut you there. Sorry. On the defense side, we'll 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 get to that point. I think Kelvin's got some uh, questions to yeah. ask you to break <laughs> up the, the monotony, one, on the, on making the defense, it a bit more fun. The the defense side or what? No, you got some questions, right? For him, the quick fire question with him, so that Loon gets it a little bit. He's a bit he's a bit stuck right now. He's a bit tight right now. So let's <laughs> let's loosen him up a bit. Okay, let's loosen you up. Okay, you ready or not, Why Loon? I'm always man. <laughs> All right, I love this answer, man. Okay, the first one is rather rather simple one. This is a personal question for you. Who or what inspired you to play football? Who and what ah? Uh? Oh, I think... is, is is it going to be Darwin though? <laughs> <laughs> you know, hey, man, Joel, you don't you're not sure about Wailun's story. His next one is agenda is the chairman of. Uh, All right. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Go for it, dude. Who and what? Who or, or what? Who or what? Though, yeah. I think what inspired ones to approach this. I think it's my grandma that I want to oh. like pursue wow. this for her. Yeah. Oh, because, career. Yeah, yeah. I mean, because she's the one that have been watching football as well, and she's okay. always been asked. Yeah, she always been asking. Uh, like how's everything as well. But I mean, it's my late grandma, so I think mm. 
everything mm. I'm doing is like definitely is always for her. Ah. So man, think, shout out yeah. to her, man. Shout out to her. Oh, yeah. nice, man. Nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, this will test your knowledge on the SBL. Uh, real quick, <coughs> five, the answers like bang, bang, bang. <laughs> Any <laughs> questions, Wailun? Who is top of the SPL table right now? Tanyong Paga. Very good. Who is the current top scorer in the league right now? Uh, I think it's Kodai, the Abirats guy. Alright, Kodai Tanaka, that guy yeah. having a good season. Okay, yeah. how many assists does Darren Tay have this season? Two. Oh, Chante oh. lah. Nice. Nice. Wailu. Okay, Wailu, this is another one. Yeah? Who scored from the halfway line against Gelang last week? <laughs> Andre Moritz. Wow. All right, man. That's good. That's good. Who is the top scorer for Balestia so far? Uh, R- J- Jumbo Rio. Jumbo. Yeah. Jumbo. Jumbo. Jumbo with two goals. Yeah, yeah. Which other S League team did Akbar manage? Tampines Rovers. Fantastic. Right. Okay, man. <laughs> hey, that was that, on fire. I, I, I know my stuff, huh? Yeah, <laughs> you do, you do. Yeah, well done, bro. Okay, so from the quick fire, we go to the negative side of things now. So, yeah, so we spoke about the ability of the team to come back in matches, the attacking prowess he has, but it also looks like every time we are under pressure, we look like we could concede. So do you Would you put this down to lack of focus or lack of organization in the defensive phase? Uh, I wouldn't say lack of focus. I would say maybe lack of organization and maybe like I wouldn't. I I cannot keep saying that it's a new team because it's quite mm. a half number of like a current players at the back. Yeah. back. So I think more down to like I think really really there's a lot of work that we need to work to. Like I mean, it's a young. Uh, we are very young squad, and I mean there's a few experience in it. Then. I mean, I wouldn't say really focused, but I I think it's more of a, like organization and uh really to keep ourselves like trust everyone uh each one another. Mm. So I think that is what we really need to work on now and uh not always like I mean yeah uh I mean we are sorry to say that we uh we are always letting our attacker down you know like every time when we attack this squad but when it comes to the defense side in like what you're saying is always almost an opportunity of conceding a goal. Yeah. So I think that's what we. That's why I say again, like we really need to work on it. I would say that it's an organization stuff. I feel that. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Joel and Kelvin, do you when you watch um Ballester defend, do you notice that uh probably there is there are moments in the game where there is a mental breakdown, like you know that like something is just not right. Maybe it could be the morale of the team is down, and you know at that moment then they will they will concede a few goals. You know, quick fire goals like what happened against Tanjung Paga, also against Albirex. I think we were doing pretty okay. I remember first half one nail down, yeah. and you hit the bar as well. So we were not that, not completely out of the game. But then second half was we were just blitz, and you know the the score became loop sided. So one of you maybe can take the next one question. Uh, any thoughts on this? Uh, I'll go. I'll go for this. I'll go for this uh, because I was uh, at the stadium, and I'm. I'm also uh, watching Brescia uh, Calza very closely this season. I am not sure, Wailu. Maybe you can you can explain further on this. But how I see it from from afar is like a little uncertainty. I'm not saying that it's it's fear or something like that, but it's just very uncertain. Um, when they get the ball in the defense, I feel that. Um, The uncertainty is there. Um, nothing got to do with mentality. I see your defenders. Um, the goals go in. They pick up the ball. They bring it forward. They keep going and going. That's a great mentality to have. But it just really looks very uncertain. Um, as you can see, um, the first goal we we considered against Tanjung Paga, um, the goalkeeper it's just very uncertain on what he did, and then he kicked the ball straight to um, I think it was Kairul Amri, and then yeah. Yeah, so I I think there's just this uncertainty is happening. Maybe Wailun, you can you can explain on this. Yeah, I mean it's a process of like what Coach Abai taught us. I mean, uh, we cannot say that trust the process, but like what he said, he's over. So he had taught us we need to execute that thing. So this this is where the time where you know if you don't make mistake, you won't learn. Mm. I mean, we cannot keep making we cannot we can't keep making the same mistake. But yeah. there's definitely one point of time there's one mistake, and that's where you wake up that okay, yeah, uh, this is the mistake that I made. This is what I'm going to work on, and this is how we want to play. But I mean, there's no, uh, there's no obligation of like we we will keep playing. We will definitely keep playing the way where we want to play mm. to try to play at the out of the back. I mean, 
even for the fans, I mean, it's quite a like a heart attack thing, you know. Where every time we want to play out, there's something happens, correct? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> right, okay. Yeah, I know, but even yeah. even I think uh, yeah. I think at the moment of the game, ah, uh, some people were shouting, "Just pump the ball!" Just pump the ball. <laughs> I yeah. think that's a local football uh, enigma, <laughs> though. Yeah, I mean that. Yeah, because like you'll say, like, uh, just pump the ball, just pump the ball. Because, but then in our mind, this is what we want to play. We want to try to play. Mm-hmm. So I mean, uh, we are we are sorry to like give those fans or like whatever to have the heart attack, but we want to play a beautiful football if possible. This is what we have been training. This is what we have learned. So I think this is where we need to execute. But Like I say again, like mistakes bonds to be made, and we need to carry on from that and learn from the mistakes that we did. And for like what you say, like defense wise again, like every time uh you feel a bit of uncertainty, even we have to trust ourselves. We have to trust our teammates mm. to to execute all this. So I think where by a time where I think we can give you something to uh watch again. Yeah, right. man. Yeah. Cool. Joel, yourself. Yeah, I think it's a it's a it's a local stigma. I think when it comes to local football, you know, when you play from the back, it's always to hey, just pump the ball, you know, just pump the ball. It's taking the but yeah. I think it it takes a it's it takes here, a right? talent to actually play the ball from the back. You know, yeah. it, it's quite flawless, and we have seen how balanced that is. I think you know when 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 Rudy passes the ball to to Wailun or you know Bronson, you know, they play the ball really well. They'll be there, you know, they play the ball from the back really well. But I think that is where it's it starts. The disorientation starts the moment the the the, the ball left the foot of the centre back. And that's where the decision making comes from our centre mid. I think that is where it, it, that is where we are lacking at the current moment. I think maybe it could be it could be a, a form of mental strength. And also, you know why when we go like two goals down, the panic comes in, the the, the you know the, the rush comes in. You know we have to start doing something or else you know we need points on the table, we need goals on the game. So it's difficult. It's difficult as a fan. I think it's too much to ask you guys to play you know flawlessly from the back. But mistakes about to happen. But look. I think Agba has uh, has a game plan that you guys have uh, you know put out for this season. I've seen a few posts that says trust the process. I also have done it before. So should we just trust the process till the end of the season, or you know, our is there any change that's going to come in? That you it's, may, okay. it's okay if you cannot reveal the change, but yeah, yeah. Can, can uh, I, I mean, is uh, is the Ballester pitch built for, or the Ballester pitch is it? Um, Built for that. Playing that kind of football. No, but I think you can blame it. We, we can we can blame it on the pitch. I think we have like professional coaches have blamed on the pitch. The grass is too short and all that. The wind is too wondering, short. Wondering. So. Yeah, I'm just wondering. Maybe Jalan Besar or like you know those slick passing uh, or Tampines Stadium. You can do that because nice flat surface and all. But Balestier, you know, especially when it rains and all, gives you a little tricky uh, yeah. situation. The ground and stuff like that. So I don't know, man. Um, But I would say on that point, I would say for a grass pitch, I think Bele- the Topayu Stadium holds up quite well. Yeah, it holds yeah. up quite well. Yeah, it holds Unless up quite well because just today I was, I was speaking to my colleague and he's also coaching at Topayu Stadium under the Active SG Academy and he's telling me, you know, the field is well maintained and it holds up quite well with uh, even with rain and they. I know Belster takes really good care of the field, so. Feel I don't think so. I I personally I don't feel anything about the feel. Wailun, do you agree? Uh, to be honest, I mean yes. The pitch the pitch really plays a part. Mm-hmm. In as much as we are trying to do what we learn, I mean okay, like what Joe mentioned. Uh, should we trust the process? But I mean, it's always trust the process, trust the process. But when is going to be? When is the process? You know. End product. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's always. But when is the process? But the teaching is over here. Yeah. He has coached us. Uh, he has coaches us and like for months. So this is something like we need to execute. Mm-hmm. We can't blame kids saying about trust the process, trust the process. It's really not up to us how we're going to execute the the things that he have taught us. And mm-hmm. I feel that yes, I think feel really plays a part. Like I mean, everyone complains. Uh, it's nothing new, you know. Uh, it's been like for years yeah. that we're talking about <laughs> the points today. But I mean, there's there's like conditioning on the pitch. But I mean, I feel like okay, I. Couldn't okay. We have to see on game situation. If really like what uh say that if we are goes down or whatever, we are try to play. But in some certainty, yeah. sometimes we have to you know have to play long and stuff. It's it's all over. It's all over in Europe. I mean, yeah. When you try to play and things doesn't go your way, and when and- thing things doesn't go your way, and you start to panic, like what you mentioned, things start to panic when your two goes down. We always want to get back the points, want to get back the goals. 
so I think that's where one of the mentality like we have to step in like uh, I think teams have the team have to like uh, focus on the mental that we have to be as calm as possible when things start to not go our way mm. I mean it's all wrong it's all wrong so uh, pitch is one thing but as I can say we are still we are really really doing our best to play out as pos- as much as possible because we won't change our style of play which yep. is this is what coach has taught us so it's not going to we are not going to change of how we're going to play even yes i mean it will be very frustrated for the fans you know it's always like y'all say why y'all still passing you know when this sort of situation just keep the ball and stuff <laughs> it's always like i mean if from outside we will think that hey why are you still passing or but i feel that we 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 want to keep the way on how we want to play even <laughs> if it's ugly but i feel that this is what we want to play so i think we have to really put in the work continue what we're doing and like to really step up and uh, execute the uh, movement mm. okay so just to end this i on a positive note i would say i think uh, i've seen one on one defending um our defenders are not that bad you know like ensa and uh, delvinder wailun yeah. wailun yeah yourself never included. forget him man. <laughs> yeah one on one you are not bad you when a person tries to take you on it's not easy to get past you and and there are players that are maybe twice your size or height and of course i mean ensa is ensa lah but the rest like yourself and delvinder there are players that are twice your size and all they try and take you on but it's not easy to get past you guys one on one defending i think you guys do quite well so posit- there are some positives there to build on i would say yeah okay joel let's hit it let's hit let's okay, do the name up again yes the second one all right lun all right before we even look forward to the next one all right i'm going to hit you with the next quick fire it's going to be a little bit different i'm going to give you a string of balestic gaucha players and you're going to come up with one word to describe them i'll give an example like if you say messi is greatness ronaldo goat wenger professor something along those lines i'm going wow. to give you 10 mm. uh, balestic related names all right you're just going to come up with description ready Okay, the first one we're going to go jumbo. Strong. Yeah. Gareth. Co- correct. Yep. That's uh, good. Yeah, the calmness. I guess had a like very calmness kind of persona. I would say. All right. Yeah. How about Darren? Well, uh, leadership. Leadership. Kuraba. Chiki guy. <laughs> <laughs> Brancevich. Uh, uh, less word. I think a very. Yeah, men with less uh less weight, I think. All right. How about Delvinder? A loud spoker. Loud spoker. Custodian Rudy. Quiet but execute. Quiet, right. quiet, quiet. And last three, proven. <laughs> uh, I was uh, J- uh Neymar. Oh, Neymar. Neymar. Oh, 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 that's oh, oh, oh. 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 Big shout out! Yeah. Big shout out to Puven now. <laughs> pressure, no pressure, bro. All right, no pressure, bro. Yeah. All right, Singapore's Neymar mm-hmm. could be. All right, the last two, okay? Uh, Rasvinder. Uh, Lankia. Ah. <laughs> Lankia. <laughs> And lastly, the Don himself, Darwin. The boss man. All right, man. That's a good the one. The boss man, yeah. Hell, lead the one to look forward ahead. <laughs> when so so hey uh, before i start i just wanted to ask you why loon have you guys ever considered maybe you guys can play ensar as a striker <laughs> <laughs> yeah, i think look, that's look, that's a that's a back story for this he has been going on and on for this whole week he's been saying that we should actually have bronsevich as a striker man that's what i've been saying man yeah. what, what do you think that's, that, that's called it Maybe a desperate time, you know, if to just no, I like normal times, like he could be like what Kim Shun Wook is for Lion City, right? Oh, maybe yeah. You think you about never it, know. right? Because you never he's know. dominating. Yeah, he's dominating all the defenders. Um, you know, as you can see, like all his goals, they are like, you know, he's just like you can see in the press. I thought like then give me the idea. It's like why not answer as a striker, right? And it's pretty good. Yes, So I suggest to coach Agba, you know. Like, Maybe, yeah. like, <laughs> actually, I was noticing this also that there were points where suddenly Ensa or Delvinder will be That's playing up front. <laughs> yeah. So that was an interesting thing that I noticed in that game against we Tanjung Pagar. We were at the stadium and we were like, "Hey, what is these two centre backs doing?" <laughs> They funny. take turns to go forward. Yeah, I think to see, who, to see who's the better striker. <laughs> 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 
Hey, Wailun. Yeah. Tomorrow you get into training, right? You just like, hey, uh, coach, uh, you know what I heard? Now? I think we should try Ansar as a striker, man. <laughs> would, would, would I say, oh yeah, I think we can make another Kim Shin Hook, huh? Yeah, we may end up with a hat trick this weekend. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You never know, man. Uh, that leads to my that leads to my question actually. Um, oh. What is the team so moving forward, looking forward to the next game, Young Lions? Um, they are bottom of the league. Um, what is the team right now, Balestier? Doing to make things right in training or in general, maybe working on defense, working on a transition play. What what are you guys uh, you know working on right now? Uh, not say about, okay. Not say about like bottom last. I mean, every team has their own strong points lah. I mean, I would say that. So coming into the game, definitely we need three points. I mean, we are working on what we are lacking of as what you all have seen and have said about like our defense and all. But I won't say that that would make a weak link for us. It's just that we are just working on on what. We are lacking off and trying to make things better. And coming to this game, uh, we need as much as possible. We need the very tri- the very first three point. And coming another home game. Yeah, home game is somewhere you won't want someone to take the points away from you. Mm. So, and it's been two home games, and we haven't got. We only gotten a point, which I feel is unacceptable. But I mean, football is football. You know, it's not everything that goes away. But I think. This coming Saturday game is a very very important for us and for the supporters as well. Uh, as much as we want the three points and as much as we are working on what we are we need to work on, I feel that this game is going to be a uh, where every every everyone in the team have to step in to know that this three point is how important this three point is and on the home ground, you know. Mm, I understand. I understand. So I understand you stress that. Three points is the utmost importance right now. This is a must-win game for you uh, uh, at the weekend. Um, what do you? Where do you feel needs the most urgent attention in the team right now to get the win against Young Lions? I would say our mental. I would say really mental because it haven't been a. It have it has been a very tough uh, month. I would say. I mm. mean, with all the result going on and people. Uh, are there the supporters are there to watch us play and things haven't goes our way but then I mean we did some pretty good stuff uh, yeah yeah we did some pretty good stuff but I feel that the team mental have to be strong to keep going because it's not end of the season it's only three games down but we still have like what 20 over games yeah mm. it's not the, it's not the end yet so I, w- I would say that uh, it's the time now is the right time to pick, pick us up to pick everyone up to fight for one another you know because rather than we are think that it's only three game and we are keep uh, we are down and we feel very uh, not motivated to play. I mean that's the wrong mentality. So I think everyone in the team, even the young ones, or whoever playing or even on the bench, have to really step up their game. Yeah, on that note, Wailun, I gotta ask you, um, what's the morale like in the team right now? Because I remember after the Tanjung Paga game, I, I stayed on a bit and I saw the players. You know, everyone looks quite crestfallen at. At the final yeah. whistle, I think even one of your players broke down in tears. Um, yeah. What's the morale like in the team right now? I mean, uh, I think the team is still okay. I I still that like, the morale is still okay because we are still, uh, we are still uh, like how to say. I mean, we are just taking a, a game at a time. But I mean, from the last game, as you can see, everyone is down because we expect a win and coming and leading a three two to down to the five three is not a easy way to. Overcome a game, you know, and yeah. I mean, maybe like I mean, one of the player maybe broke broke down, like you guys can see. But uh, I think everyone have a bad game. You mm-hmm. you can't have uh, you can't have perfect game every game. So mm-hmm. that definitely one of the game that something not right or what. But I mean, this is where you have to learn. I mean, this where this where this this is where I say it, like mistake have is made, you know. Yep. Mistake have to be made, and you that's where you learn. And I think the team alright is. Still going strong because we are really looking forward to our uh, first three points, mm-hmm. and uh, that's where like we keep ourselves uh, motivated and not uh, not giving up yet because it's still a long way of the season. Yeah. So I've, the team morale is still going good. Uh, 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 telling each other like uh, keeping each other up. Keeping each other. Keep going. Yeah, yeah. It's still it's still there. Uh, so I feel that the team morale is not down, but we are still striving and uh, looking forward and going forward. Right, right, right. Okay, I I just want to give a shout out to the player that broke down. I don't know his name, um, because I couldn't quite recognize who he was. But just a shout out to him, you know. Keep keep your chin up, bro. If you're listening oh, to this, keep your chin up because football, you know, 
today you lose it only gives you an opportunity to make right whatever you did wrong so there's always an opportunity coming up so keep your chin up it's a long season ahead like yeah. long season ahead there's many games to go there's going to be a lot of ups and downs so brave that we will strive again this weekend big one guys uh, but joel i just want to ask you looking from outside um not in the team but just on uh, from a fans perspective um in your opinion what do you think needs the most urgent attention in the team Wow, I've been following uh, SPL closely this season, like you, like you, you're, like yourself, Kel. You know, I've been following Ballester and the whole of SPL. You no, know, on my Friday nights, I usually out, but these days I'm like holding two laptops, <laughs> you no, know, one in Ballester, one in SPL. So I think the, the the major attention that needs right now in terms of Ballester wise, I think we are good in the front. I also believe that we are good at the back. I think the attention needs to be done in the central mid of the park. I think that is where we are we are, I'm not I'm not going to say that we lack control we just lack the strength to actually move the ball forward faster the composure when, the composure is that yeah so you know when we when we play from the back you no know, that, that that flawless play is you know you, you got to move the ball faster and we actually seen that you know when Bellister came back to hit 3-2 yeah. that yeah, three awesome. goals was really solid it's like quick fire the free kicks were taken good you no know, the, the the passes was there back to back passes yeah. you no know, they were playing beautiful long balls And then that's where it just thrown down. And especially when you guys see, you know, after second half time, when the guys came back on second half, we start the second half. The first ten minutes really good. Yep. And then sixtieth minutes, that's where we start to break down. And I think one major improvement from last season to this season is, I think, the fitness. These boys, this season, I think you guys loon. I think you got to applaud yourself for that. Your fitness level for this team for this season is, I think, is at one hundred percent, man. I think you guys. Really strive. I see guys at the 89 minute running up and down despite losing five three. They keep going. So I think there are a lot of positive to take, but at the same time, there's just a little bit of the gritty part that needs to be, you know, there's just a little concern there. If we can match that and we can turn that around, we are in for a big win, man. This Saturday, I'm really going for a big win, man. Yeah. Hopefully, yeah, this could be the step up uh, or, or the step. Yeah, this uh, could be the start of the many games that we're gonna win and you no know, rise to the top. So, I Loon, see how you haters gonna... there, man. <laughs> 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 That is one for the haters out there, guys. <laughs> Loon, how you plan to 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 spur the team on for the weekend? Uh, oh man, uh, I just want them to look forward for the three points and you know, to 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 feel what is it feel like to be winning. Yeah, what yeah. is it feels like to win a game? Because mm. haven't been winning like for three games, you no. Know? Yeah. yeah. So I want them to feel what is it like to win. The winning and feeling. I, yes, of course, definitely. And yeah. I want them to feel what's the feeling of having to celebrate after the game. Mm. Yeah. So this, this is what I want them to look forward to. Every team is strong. <laughs> and get used and, to it. And yes, get of course. It, yeah. It. We can get out. That's where the team it will be high. If once we win, we, that's where the momentum uh is going to go. You know. So yeah. I really want them to look forward to it this Saturday. And I really want them to like to really feel what it feels like to have a win in a pocket. Fantastic, fantastic, fantastic well said, Russ. Over to you, man. Okay, anyone got any quick fires now? I think we are we are done with the fire. The okay. fire is at the top level right now. Look at Loon. So the fire is at the top so level. Hot, it's it's, yeah, it's so hot. It's so steamy right now. So he needs to like indulge in some water. So yeah, okay. Right. I'll ask some questions. Uh, why Loon? This is on your personal interest. Okay. Your all-time favorite player? All-time, uh, Messi. Hmm. Okay. All-time favorite club? All-time favorite Arsenal. Arsenal. Okay. Interesting. Uh, favorite celebrity? Favorite celebrity. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I always like uh, you know, uh, Wanda. You know, ah, uh, yeah, uh, Elizabeth Olsen. From what the, oh, what okay, 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 okay. <laughs> all right, cool. Favorite music genre? Uh, what genre? Uh, pop. Oh, right? Pop, uh, pop, 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 pop. Okay. Pop. Uh, favorite Mandarin artist? <laughs> oh, you uh, know, Russ, How would you I, know? I, 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 I'm a uh, never mind, lah. The I, I do some fans Chinese will know, right? Probably could be J Chow, right? J Chow. Or BTS. Maybe Korean. Yeah, it's a lot of BTS Korean man. Oh, Korean yeah. lah, bro. Salah orang lah, salah orang. Chinese random lah, but I give J Chow lah. Okay. I do listen lah, but I sometimes lah, sometimes. Mm. So, all right. Cool, cool, cool. Okay. Um, favorite type of movie to watch? Your favorite genre of movie? Last question. Uh, sitcom. 
Let's see. Comedy sitcom. Oh, all right. Yeah. Sitcom is a TV series, bro. Movie, yeah. Movie will be like comedy, horror, yeah. mystery. Comedy lah, comedy lah. Comedy, comedy yeah. lah. Fantastic. Same love comedy lah, love comedy lah. Yeah. Hey, Wailun, chicken biryani or mutton biryani? That is very important, bro. Chicken or mutton? Chicken biryani, very good. Actually, it depends. Actually, it depends on places. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. True, yeah. true, true. Where, where, <laughs> do, where do you get yeah, the best biryani? Where do you get the best? Is it the spring? I don't know. I mean, it's been a long time since I ate biryani, man. Because now I'm like trying watching, to watching change. Watching a diet. Trying to change ah. my diet because I've been trying to go uh, like a vegan diet kind of. I mean, oh, oh wow. okay, 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 okay. I mean, but not not okay. strict. But then, yeah, I mean, I think last time it was a, I think I like the dumb brownie, you know, dumb brownie. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. Hey, yeah. Lun, maybe yeah. if if we get the big win or even get the three points this weekend, we'll go for one last brownie before you start your vegan on Monday. But I I risk lah. Maybe we can have a cheat meal lah. <laughs> ah, <laughs> alright, man. <laughs> but, I mean, okay, because I'm still not really like strict vegan, but I mean, okay, okay, I yeah, try. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Man lah, bro. Sometimes at least once a week, no problem, man. Okay. Ah, uh, why Lun? Married, single, or ready to mingle? <laughs> For your female fans. <laughs> hey, this is pictures, no? Wow, oh, uh, this one. What? Yeah, I was like, we saw your pictures. Uh, yeah, we saw your picture on the. Uh... Before you answer that married question, I mean, that picture. When was it taken? Your Zoom profile picture. Zoom profile. Oh, yeah, with the cap, I... the one that the outside state courts though. Oh, uh, that's that's when I think twenty five, twenty six. Wow. When I was twenty five, twenty six. Okay. Man, look, you still look yeah. the same, huh? Oh, thanks. Better has never aged a single <laughs> bit. <laughs> thanks, thanks, thanks. Well, uh, still single. Eh? Still single, lah. Eh? Are you ready to mingle or no? Taken ready. Ready to mingle, lah. Eh? All, All right. right, yeah. Man. Female fans of Wailun. If you guys are hearing this, yes. <laughs> take this note. Boy, take note of mingle. this. You can, bro, Wailun. We can. You score. You just do this. <laughs> Yeah. Call me if you want. <laughs> Look in the stands. You see anyone interesting? Uh-huh. Do that. Okay, guys. Um, in the stands, you can call me. Kel. Move. <laughs> we'll, we'll be your wingman. We'll be your wingman. We'll get. We'll get the numbers for you, man. Let me say, Masai. Let it. Let it. Okay. Um. Last segment for today. Uh. Why, Luna? I remember. Seeing you before the Tampines game, you ha- you carried a bit of an injury. You had an ankle injury, correct? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and you looked a bit down that you're not playing in that game. Um, how's that recovery coming along? I mean, it's been good, lah. I mean, because that was like an ankle sprain, so it's probably like you know a two three two three weeks out kind of uh, injury. Mm. So I mean, to see uh coming back to play at Birex and now Tanjong Pagar, then uh, now I'm looking forward to the next game. So I think recovery has been uh going well. Uh, keeping myself fit to do like some uh, strength conditioning work during like uh one uh like twice a week and stuff. Okay, so but do you feel hundred percent now after that injury or still a bit niggly? I mean, uh, it's a part of uh, it's a part and parcel. I mean, there's yeah. uh, I, I wouldn't say really, really like hundred percent, but I will give. I will definitely when once I'm on the pitch, I'm always hundred percent to for the team, whichever team I am, I'm in. So. When it comes to the pitch, I will give my hundred percent, even though I'm not hundred percent. All right, cool. That's fantastic yeah. commitment from the captain of Ballistic Halsa, Joel and Kelvin. You got any questions? Last questions for Wailun. I'm still speechless from the last part that he said, though. That commitment. I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm still reeling from that. That that's the kind of commitment we need for uh, uh, players like Ballistic. No, no matter what happens, we got to give that hundred percent, and that hundred percent has to come this weekend. I think it's a big one and. I think Lun, you said it very nicely. We need that hundred percent, man. For me, yeah, to me see I think, yeah. Lun running up and down the flanks, and then you know nursing an injury, and he's just like brushing off his injury, um, you know, and just commit, just being very committed to the cause. You know, it's really really good as a fan. Um, everyone listening out there, you know, um, just by watching, it's very easy to watch a player, yeah, play football. But you know, to be the player actually playing in the field. It's different. The problem, uh, and uh, and you know, putting their 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 body on the line. I think, man, um, seeing you guys run up and down is it's 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 really good, man. I hope you guys like get the deserved three points uh, over the weekend. And you get the biryani yeah, as well, man. <laughs> yeah, man. I'll celebrate with you guys, man. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely, man. Looking forward to this Saturday. All right. Any last words for the fans? Uh, I would say. Do come down and support us. Give us the trust, and 
to give us to to really give us the I mean we are sorry that we disappointed you all, but do give us a trust. Come down, come down to the stadium this Saturday to watch us against Young Lions and give us all of the support, and we will give you our hundred percent on the pitch. Yeah, uh, fantastic, right, fantastic. I would also say to the fans, do not give up hope. Never. Three games, tough. Tough three games. It was first. so inspiring. My mother actually cheered for you. Oh. Inspiring everyone, uh, hopefully. <laughs> yeah. And uh, for the fans, I would say, do not give up hope. It's not been yeah. an easy start for Balestier Kalsa, but that's what supporting a football club is all about. You know, you stick through, through thick and thin and keep supporting the club. Come down, make yourself heard. I think yeah. that's very important. Yep. Um, to make yourself heard and not not be quiet so that the players on the pitch know that the fans are backing them. And uh, with that, Joel, Kelvin, any last words? Yeah, well, I look forward to seeing everybody, man, at the stadium. Uh, we'll yeah, be there. Yeah. Back pass. Back pass will yep. be there. Yeah. Uh, we will be, I think we'll be there at five at the gates. Uh, do do catch us, uh, you know, if you if you want to say hello. We are very friendly guys, um, you know, and uh, we'll be giving out some merch as well. Yeah. Uh, do, do, yeah. do, catch us, do catch us. <laughs> yeah, man. Like, and, you know, like what Cal said, you know, we are down, but we are not out. We will be back, guys. Trust the process. Ballester is going to go big this weekend. So come on down. Kick off us at 5.30. Be there around 4.30. You will see the three beautiful faces of ours. Loon, you will see it on the pitch. We will be there to, you know, give you guys a lot of questions. Play around, you know. Enjoy the moment. Feel the atmosphere. So we want to see you guys there, right? Fill up the entire stadium. All right, right? Yep. And do not be intimidated by my height. So, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, this should be me, man. This should be me. <laughs> I can't believe that was your ending. Looks <laughs> 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 like he'll be the only one walking around, you know, like <laughs> me and Ansa. <laughs> yeah. All right, guys. Uh, thanks a lot, Wailun, for taking the time to yeah. speak to us and the fans as well, watching and listening in to this episode of Backpass X Ballistia Kalsa. It's me, Ras, signing out. Peace out. Ciao, and see you at the stadium. Yeah. See you. See you. Bye.